Learning to love yourself happens when you accept the fact that your mother gave birth to a promise which refuses to be broken. With that being said, by a show of risks, how many people here have thought about hurting themselves? Because I once held 90 days worth of happiness in my hand just to feel the weight in my palm, looked into the bathroom mirror to meet a Halloween mask of a man, pretended those pills were Halloween candy, and imagined every person that felt the end would taste this sweet. I once met a blonde hair, blue eyed band aid to an artery. I warned her. I'm as shallow as an ocean, as deep as a puddle, just like any body of water you have ever met. I used to blame my cold hands on the January wind, but we both knew the truth. It was the same reason we never kissed when it was over. I once met a girl with the image of scissors and three dotted lines tattooed inside her arm. The same symbol we learned as children signifying where to start cutting. Her forearm held horizontal scars like self-inflicted brushstrokes. I wonder at what age she discovered she was a canvas. Forever an artist, because her arms will always be covered in that paint. So even her happiest hugs will be stained with pain of the past. I wonder if anyone ever told her she was a masterpiece waiting to happen. So this poem is for her. And all of the pretty girls with crooked bobby pin smiles just trying to hold it all together. This poem is for the boys who were told to man up where they needed to be told even the greatest warriors shed tears. This poem is for my friends who live in a nation where it's legal in more states to conceal carry a weapon than it is to marry the person you love. And we wonder why people put guns to their heads. This poem is for the VCU student who saw a tall building as an escape route. I wonder if she wished for wings before touching the West Franklin Street sidewalk. I wish she had wrapped her toes around the ledge of a building 16 short stories high, spread her arms like wings, and felt life rush through her hands. And before she leapt from that window and left this earth, I would tell her that the only difference between a helicopter and a hummingbird is wingspan. So she would float like a leaf and land delicately on a power line like a tightrope. And the words of this poem would be her safety net. This was for her. This is for you. This is to save you. I want to give you wings. I want you to put down the gun and pick up a pen. I want to tell every person I meet they are a masterpiece waiting to happen. I want to tell you that it does get better because I know, I know, that learning to love yourself happens when you accept the fact that your mother gave birth to a promise which refuses to be broken.